Hi, welcome to Briones Pickleball. My name is Jordan Briones, and in today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most powerful shots that you can learn out on the court. So now, let's jump right in. All right, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about the two-handed backhand drive. Now, we are seeing this more and more as more tennis players are coming in, and also more players who want a versatile option where they can actually drive the ball with control and pace on their backhand wing. So in this video, we're going to be talking about footwork, your preparation, and the technical aspect of the stroke, and then we will be getting into some drills that you can practice this shot so that you can hit it with efficiency. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna start out with is the grip, and you can see in this camera here, I have the continental grip. I like to hold my hand pretty close you know towards the bottom of the grip here um, you can do it if you choke up here but if you hold your hand you know on the bottom of the paddle you're going to have more room on the top uh, with your left hand but anyways we're going to go continental grip on the right hand or your dominant hand and then your left hand is just simply just going to go right on top here so some players like to hit a uh, two-handed backhand with their finger up here I just like to just hold it like this. It really depends, it's up to you. All right, so now that we got the grip down, now let's talk about the preparation. Now, when we're talking about preparation, we're talking about how to get set up for this shot so that you can hit it consistently and with efficiency. So usually I'd be right back here at the baseline here, waiting for the ball. And the first thing that I'm going to do is to make my initial move to the ball. If the ball is short, where I'm gonna have to go up for it, I'm gonna you know, have to go forward. Or if it's off to the left here, I'm going to have to adjust or shuffle my feet quickly. And the very first thing that we're gonna do is begin our unit turn, okay? So simply, what does a unit turn mean? It means that I'm turning my arms and my torso, my shoulders, and my hips together as a unit because we are going to want to start to make our move and getting ready and prepared for the backhand stroke. So you can see here that I'm turning, starting my unit turn here, and then next I'm going to plant my left leg, okay? So my non-dominant leg, as I make that unit turn, I plant my left leg here, and then after that happens, what I'm gonna do is going to plant my dominant leg, okay? I'm going to get ready to hit this stroke, and when I plant my left leg first and then my dominant one, this helps me get that forward momentum. You can see in this camera here, same thing. If I'm in here, the first thing I wanna start doing is start my unit turn, right? Because I gotta get sideways to hit the ball, and then I'm gonna plant my non-dominant leg, my left foot and then I'm going to get ready and then plant my right so this is the correct position if you could see that in this camera here that we want to be set up to hit our backhand stroke Hi, if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and give this video a like and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you're interested in exclusive on-court training with me, go ahead and go to brionispickleball.com forward slash coaching. Now, let's get right back to the video. All right, as we do this early preparation, I do wanna mention the backswing. We have the backswing and the fall through, which makes up the entirety of our stroke. So as we plant this left leg first, we are doing our unit turn, you can see my two arms stay together and they are dropping behind me so that I can get my backswing ready. Okay, so it's gonna look like this. And then remember, then I'm going to step in with my dominant leg. So now I have my momentum moving forward so that I can swing through the ball. Next thing I would do wanna mention is when you do plant that dominant leg, notice how I kinda of have it, you can see in this camera, a 45 degree angle towards the net. You don't wanna plant like this because you might roll the ankle and you don't want to plant like straight forward. This is a natural plant here on this dominant leg so that after I finish my stroke, 
I can come and get in my ready position to recover to get to the next ball. All right, so next I want to talk about the contact point. In almost all your pickleball shots, you're going to want to contact the ball out in front. So in this camera, I just want to show you here, getting ready to set up and do my unit turn. I plant my dominant leg. I'm going to want to hit the ball right around here. So it could vary depending if we're going down the line and I would probably hit it right around here. And if I'm going cross court, I'm going to hit it a little bit more in front of me because I'm going to want to take that ball cross court. So it's gonna vary, but I do wanna make sure that I keep my eye on the ball through contact and I contact it out in front. So now let's talk about from the backswing all the way to the follow through. You can notice here that my backswing starts right around here. I'm in my continental grip, my left hand is on top. And as I swing, you can see I'm swinging upward in upward motion to my right shoulder here, okay? So you wanna start here and then go to here. Now, one thing that you're gonna notice, especially in this camera here, is you can really see my rotation here, right? The reason why we want a good unit turn is so we could get in this closed stance. So you can see in this camera here, I'm in a closed stance. The two-handed backhand is really tough to hit in an open stance because it's hard to get rotation. So the reason why we wanna get here is so that we can rotate like that. Um, notice how my right shoulder here is kind of facing the other side of the court, right? So if you're doing the shot and you're just like this, you know, you're not gonna get the power and rotation that you need. So again, make sure you plant your left, dominant uh, foot plant, and look at how closed I am, right? Look at my chest is now facing this camera, and then once I end my swing, look at my chest actually opens up towards the court there. So here we go from here to here. All right, so now that we've broken down the two-handed backhand drive, we're gonna show you a couple progressions so that you can get a consistent and efficient two-handed backhand drive. All right, so here I have Katrina with me, and what we're gonna start out with first is shadow swings. Now, shadow swings are the best way that you can start to develop good technique so that you can be hitting those key points. So Katrina is waiting for the ball here, and the first thing she's gonna do, because the ball's coming, she's gonna split step, and then she's going to do her unit turn, right, and place her paddle back here, okay? So her paddle's in a good position, and then she's going to stroke the ball upward to her right shoulder. All right, so we're gonna do that a couple more times. Katrina is gonna hit her split step, do her unit turn, place her paddle back for a backswing, and then she's gonna swing upward to her right shoulder. Go ahead. Good. Really nice, let's see it again. Good, nice. Okay, one more time, okay? Good. All right, so now that you have the shadow swings down, what we're gonna do now is we are going to do just simple drop feeds. So I'm gonna stand over here. I'm going to just toss the ball into her backhand wing, and then she's going to just practice her backhand drive. Okay, here we go. Nice, go again, good, nice, good, okay, here we go again, good. One thing that she's doing really well actually is you can see good rotation and you can see her weight transfer um, coming forward across her body and she is falling through towards her right shoulder. So she's doing a good job there, here we go, good, okay again. Good, okay, again, okay, good. So those are really, really good strokes. One thing that I would um, tell her right now is go ahead and, and do, your, do your unit turn, okay? So make sure, or let's try to get even in a more closed stance. So here, so um, just get ready here, and then go ahead and do your unit turn slow motion. Here we go, okay, so this is pretty good. Hold on, unit turn here. Okay, so stay there. That's pretty good. What we, I would like you to see you do is to get in a little bit more close stance. All right, so right now she is coming here. This is, you know, fairly good. But I want her to get in a more close stance so I'll have her 
have that lead leg or dominant foot to go actually in front of her back foot so that she can actually close her shoulders more okay the more we can close it here then we can rotate and you know have more topspin and more power okay so let's try it again a couple of shadow swings and you're gonna you know close that stance a little bit there you go you're gonna close it a little bit more so go go again two more shadow swings go ahead good good okay here we go again go okay all right so let's try a couple here okay here we go good better good again nice again good okay uh, why don't you slide to your right a little bit and then we're, i'm gonna actually feed you balls so that you're gonna have to come out a little bit okay here we go good okay again go good that was nice nice again good very good again good really really good again good okay all right so those are some pretty good backhands there um so that was tossing with the feed now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to the net and i'm going to actually hit her balls from the net and then she's going to hit them cross court all right so now she's in the middle of the court there you're actually going to straddle that center line i'm going to feed you a ball so now you're going to have to run out to it take your unit turn plant that left foot first then plant that dominant foot make sure you're in a good close stance and then go ahead and follow through up to that to that right shoulder okay so here we go you ready here we go good nice ball here we go again okay good nice okay again great great ball actually really good go nice good 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 notice how low she's getting to the closer that you can get to that ball and the lower you're gonna have to get with your legs right okay so here we go again good again okay really really great all right so now that we did feeds from the net now we're gonna actually do some rallies from baseline to baseline so we're both right handers we're gonna go cross court and we are going to rally our backhand drives All right, so that wraps up this video. That was the two-handed backhand drive. You know, if you are not coming from a background of tennis, you can definitely learn this. I've worked with a lot of students that don't have any tennis or racket background and have taught them how to create a good weapon on their backhand wing. So go out there in these progressions. You can watch this video back multiple times so that you can get the swing. But if you have any other comments or questions, go ahead and comment below. Give this video a like if you really liked it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. For exclusive pickleball content from me, check out briannaspickleball.com. For awesome pickleball paddles like this one, make sure to check the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next video.